my relatives, my beautiful friends, I'm just asking, asking you a very strong request. Absolutely no. First of all, I'm just so glad, Leila. Simply, I'm so glad you've cancer. In my lifetime, stepping up and writing so many flowers and people, and cancer members. Happy. I want you to know something. You know, strange. You know, when it comes to the wedding itself, the parents don't have to stand behind Khosrowkhan. If they want to, it's beautiful. They don't have to. No, I'm just mamish. Mamish this. The parents have to stand behind. In fact, it's like behind. Between the parents. Between the parents. Mm. What you tell them, make it behind. From now on, you're married by the Shem. At the right moment, bless you to be married forever and ever. Amen. In this lifetime and all that. Noem is going back, connecting you. Everything which happened to you since you were born and all your past lifetimes. So for that, you need somebody who knows you from there. Right? The only one who's around is a young lady. Remember the learning wise? Because God who loves you like a young lady. Can you make chosen from heaven to let us know that Mashiach is coming? Gotta be our best friend. Right? You know, when life is happening, I would like to hear from my best friend. So can you imagine all of Israel waiting for Mashiach to come? And you know, want to tell us. So why is Eli Yenobi never dying? Because the Rabbanish Shalom don't do this to me. I want to know every year that has to stay alive to see every year. So Eliyanovi knows Leila and Simchala the way back, forward and backward. And Eliyanovi is the one that puts parents and children together. Eliyanovi doesn't want to see children without parents. And he doesn't want to see parents without children. So I don't know by the way they make the master. But but know him, Mamash Eliyanovi. And whatever you know, yeah, that's what I'm just about to say. So everybody knows tonight that you are no be, that you are no be, that you are no be, that you are no be. Okay, I want you to know something. This is the good side and the bad side. I think I shared it with you. Um, I want to. In, in Amsterdam is, is, is a very, very, very special hospital. The COVID Moshe, the greatest doctor in the world, has Mamshik, the hospital. And it's very special because people come from all over the world, from Greece, from Turkey, from Russia. This was ready about 10 years ago. And they have nurses who speak every language. That means they have in, in every department. So the doctor. A Jewish doctor was at the concert, says to me, you have to come tomorrow night to the hospital, and we'll have like, you know, count there simultaneously translation. And you see, I didn't see the sick. I was sitting in his office, and there was this going on to all the Russians. So I told them a lot of good tires, but then I told them one thing. I blessed them, they should come out tomorrow, not tonight. But I told them, you know what the purpose is for being sick? Because we are running around so much, we don't even know who's our best friend. We don't even have time to think. As we show them, we have to read, we should all be well. You're lying in the hospital, you're sick. You're thinking, I obey this person, I love them so much, I wish they would come. So I said, ask you that the door should open and that person should walk in. I want you to know sometimes you need to be sick to find out who your best friend is. 
And sometimes also on the Shabbos, when we have Simcha, like Shabbos, we're sitting there on Shabbos, and every year is thinking, my way, this is my best friend, the master. The right of the Shabbos, I didn't know his name. Because on Shabbos, it's clear to me. The boy is the master of the world. You know what I need the most? During the week, I always think I need more money, I need this, I need this. But before the end of Shabbos, it's clear to me. What I really need is a Yanovi or your Tishbe. So, first of all, if the Yanovi comes tonight, I bless you. Simcha and Leali, he should be the one who brings it to the Chupa. And he uh, bless you, he should, he should be the one who brings your children to the Chupa. That bless your parents, those parents to be there, all the Bobas and Zedas to be there, Gabal. so careful not to say anything bad, right? But yet the Torah says, no toy for you is old and water. It's mamish bad for your lungs. You know what it is? I want to say the same thing again. You know, everybody knows, you know, I'll ask a young lady, Winston, do you have a date? Are you going out with somebody? She's not Winston, I don't know. Oh, just tonight? What are you doing Saturday night? I have nothing to do. You can see tears in my eyes. Right? You ask anybody, man or woman, what are you doing Saturday night? And if they're sitting alone at home, you know why? Because Elianovi is the master of bringing them together. And everybody knows, every month is Shabbos. The light of your Novi is shining into the world. Maybe Wednesday night you don't feel so much when you're alone. Lamish Matsushabas, you 
feeling so much. Anyways, I just want to bless you. See, Mom, she has no way to kill both of you. Kaval. And now she brought your parents, your grandparents here. Now he's doing it so far. So I bless you. Mom, simply, and I bless you. Whoever comes to you, should have some not to be alone anymore. How much make it your business to put people together. And eventually God should help us. We should put the whole world together. Why is it you know becoming more to Shabbos and telling us that the whole world is getting together? Because even nations are lonely also. You know all the wars are all about? In this world, they're hating each other to make wars. Up there, you know how it looks like? One nation is lonely without the other. And they have no way of getting their attention. This is we're going to shoot you. You know, have you ever seen sometimes a girl wants to get the boy's attention? She says, you know, I really hate you. But never. She wants attention. It's clear to me. It's clear to me. I want you to know, the first killing in the world was Cain and Hebel. You know why Cain killed Hebel? Because Cain was so angry. You bring a carbon and you know how to do it? Why don't you teach me how to do it? Didn't you see I want to do it so badly? So I want you to know, Mamish, I'm so proud of Leon Simcha, I know you're so Mamish. Everybody talks about bringing Mashiach, but they talk all on the outside. I know Leon Simcha, Mamish, on the inside, on the inside, on the inside. The inside is really Mamish, to bring God's oneness into the world. Between us and the nations, between us and people. <coughs> should not be together. I was always wondering, where's the Masechta? How to be together? The Masechta is missing. You know why the Masechta is missing? Because this is a Masechta of Mashiach. It's Mashiach's Masechta. So, would you know something? A lot of people get married and they are happy with the one Masechta which teaches them how to be separate. I bless you. Right now, you know he's hanging around. You can tell him, you know, can you give me a little copy? You know, it's not printed yet. Maybe it's just a little, a little copy. Give us a few pages. Give us a few pages. <laughs> Maybe give us just one word.
not here to bring joy to Leia and Simcha really has no right to be here. Remember the Heilige Rabdubit Lutrona says, the Mashiach is coming, the Mashiach will stand on one side of the bridge, there will be a bridge, and all the Yidin will be standing on the other side. And then he'll call us. In Gewalt he says, everybody will be standing there shivering. What will I do if he doesn't call out my name? What am I going to do? Anyways, I most humbly wanted to add, imagine there are some people who are married for 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50 years, 60 years, right? The Mashiach is coming. <coughs> Standing on one side of the bridge, calls the man separately, and calls the wife separately. You know what the Mashiach is telling them? Can you imagine? What can you imagine? Can you imagine? She is calling and they said husband and wife together. Mm -hmm. oh, it's so good. Oh, it's so special. But then let's go one step further. People are standing there, he calls husband and wife together. Then he calls his children separately. Why is it heartbreaking? You know what Mashiach is telling you? You thought you were so close to your children? You're not. But can you imagine the simcha? I tell you, know what it calls husband and wife together with their children. <clears throat> so my first book goes to the parents and grandparents. I want to bless you when Mashiach is coming. He calls you over to the other side of the bridge. Let it be together with your children, with your grandchildren. But the most, 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 most important book of Mamish right now. Mamish Leia and Simch I want to bless you. There's a Mashiach is calling, you should be both together. And I want you to know every evening, you should make a little Hajman and think to yourself, the Mashiach is coming tonight, Will really call us over together? Will really call us over separately? And you know, sometimes they're only human. They're only human. Sometimes husband and wife, you know, unless idiots are always the same ideas. <laughs> but 
Baruch Hashem, God gave you a head and you a head. So we don't always agree. But who cares? Every night I want you to think about the Mashiach coming tonight. She better call us together. And every era of Shabbos, every era of Shabbos. The Mashiach is coming the last minute before Shabbos. If God forbid, it doesn't call you together. Do you know what that means? Can we never together one Shabbos? Oh, it's too heartbreaking. Right? And here just, by the Shabbos, you have to tell the story of Rabbi Melech. Say, so, Amamish, this is a special story of the Simchale. Amish, give me good harmony. <coughs> I heard it in the heading of Rabbi Rebbe, this is what he said. The Heilige Rebbe Schreiber the Bobbe Rebbe. The Holy of the Holy is the deep, is the deep. Are hey, you sure? Come here. Closer. Show to me. The new woman come close, everyone. Come here. You sure? Come here. Space up here. Okay. When Baba was 16 years old, he decided to go back to Vizhensk. He wanted to see if anybody is still alive who saw Rabbi Dumanev. At that time, it was already about 85 years after Rabbi Dumanev had left the world. He comes back to the city <coughs> and, uh, you know, Shabbat and the Helig is on the host. Grandson. So we asked around, is there anybody here who still remembers Rabbi the Melech? So they said, you know, it's 85 years ago. But then they said, no, there is one old lady, I'm sure she remembers the story There's one old lady, she's 95 years old. And when she was nine years old, she was a dishwasher of Rabbi Melech. Anyway, so the Helige, they call her and they bring her, an old lady, cute little old babushi. So Rabbi Melech says, Rabbi Rabbi Shlomo says to her, you know, please forgive me. I imposed upon you to come, but I want so much to know anything about Rabbi Rabbi Melech. He says, do you remember anything about Rabbi Melech? She says, you know, I'm an old lady. I really don't remember so much anymore. So Shlomo says, I don't believe you. You mean to say you saw Rabbi Rabbi the Melech and you don't remember it? So this is what she said. There was one thing I could never forget. There is something I will never forget. Friday before Shabbos, a few minutes before the Licht Menschen, the Heilige of the Mele would walk up and down in his room. And he would cry and he would say, Mele, Mele, Mele. How did you enter the Shabbos? Look what you did all week long. You bowed, you bowed, Melech. How would you enter Shabbos? Then he would come into the kitchen. Then he would come into the kitchen. We would all stand in line. This is what he would say. Tiger is a kinder love. I'm so sorry. Maybe I hurt your feelings. Maybe I mistreated you. Maybe I didn't give you enough honor. And you know what you said? The truth is, we the kitchen staff. Most of them are really coarse people. 
cursing each other, calling each other dirty names. So when we heard Rebbe Lemela crying, wow, did we cry? And she says to Rabbi Shlomo, you think you ever saw what you cursed? You were not in the kitchen of Rebbe Lemela. You've never seen your kibbutz in your life. This was not it yet. Then the Heli Rebbe Lemela would go into the dining room. And he would talk to his own children. And he would say, Tyler is a kid of ours. Kumar is a kid of ours. I'm begging you, I'm crying before you. Forgive me so much. Forgive me forever. And no, I'm not such a good father. I wish I would think children forgive me. Would mamish, mamish, fall to the ground for each child. Mamish, that's the most curious. This was not it yet. And this was the blessing you sent to us. Then the Holy Rebbe Melech would stand before the Holy Rebbe Melech, and he would cry from the deepest depths of his heart. And he would tell her, forgive me so much. Maybe I didn't give you enough cover to sleep. And I could have had to shove this and to shove it. God forbid, God forbid, you're angry at me. Mama shall bless you. Simple land, I bless you. Always before shoppers. For Shabbos, you should write Noam again and get married again. And Mama Shmashir would come to your house and you know we should come to your house. I just want to say one more thing. You know, I don't know how some of you are accustomed to write noem. <coughs> I've seen people write noem. I don't want to say anything bad about the job, but you have, even if you have your tongue hanging out, have no taste. <laughs> and I uh, want to make it beautiful for, for Leila and Simcha. But I'm telling you deep stuff, you know, now look around all the faces. And if you're not very serious, why would you still How can anybody hear Stoch of the Melech and the Ramesh cry inside it all the time? I want you to know something, I'm so proud of Melech. Gwala my proud of you. Gwala my proud of Simcha. You know, it's so easy to be shower. 
so easy to be strong. So easy to be nothing. Because if you're nothing, you don't have to do anything. You're nothing anyway. <laughs> to be something takes hard work. When you know something real and simple, you can be the foremost person in the world. And your consciousness is completely underdeveloped. And I must bless you, I bless you, I must. Always to be surrounded by people with a high, deep consciousness. You know, Bachsidim was an expression, not a frumayit, a badas. You know, Simcha and Mamasha bless you so much. Two weeks ago, I was in Borough Park and gave to a concert. And then I had to make a phone call, and I see young Siddhi, I'm going for a thousand years. But the question is between you and them, what is it? You know, you can be married to somebody for a thousand years. But if I were to ask you, what's between them? Is the Torah between them? God between them, it's Shabbos between them, it's every second between them. That's it. That's it. Now you're the Moshe Blatt. It's the end of everything. Right? So you remember Sivu we were learning the wedding? You get married, you're married. But you know what the in between is? This is knowing. I wish to put the two souls together. And again, I want you to know, this is the deepest, which is again that you're nubby. You know, the world only knows, are you married or are you not married? You know what parents bless their children the most with? I don't want just my children to be married. I want them to have this in between, between. And you know, Leila and Simchale, the world has to fix a lot. Because for generations, said enough, they didn't take care of him. They just said, the man or woman, what's the problem? Let's get married. They never asked them, do you really love each other? Do you really, really love each other? Once you know, I didn't ask you, Leila and Simchale, because I know the answer, but I'm telling you. Whenever I married to people, I've always asked them the day before, could you possibly live this out each other? I remember one time with a couple from Montreal was before before your time. <laughs> before you were the Jewish king and queen of Montreal. So <clears throat> this couple came and they wanted me to marry them. I said, okay, I'll be so happy, it was sweet. Then the night before they came again, talked to me, asked them, could you live without each other? So he says, I cannot imagine my life without said my beautiful bride who loves us so much. And she says, Yeah, I can think I can live without you. <laughs> <laughs> I bet. I bet. So I said to him, I'm sorry. I don't want to have my hand in because it won't last. <laughs> so I said, Can look for another hour? Once you know, the next morning that I was still living on 91st Street at that time, about 4 o'clock at night, I hear ringing, bells ringing like crazy. She is standing there with her eyes and red with tears. And she said, I'm so sorry. After I said it, I couldn't believe myself that I said it. She said, I so much was going to say for the wedding. But anyway, you know, wedding, the wedding is, you get married, and God forbid, I'm going to show my knows what happened by you, you can get divorced also. You know why? Because there's nothing in between. You know what makes the wedding last forever? <coughs> Not because the hope of the is legal, because it's no thing in between. Mamish put him, put him in the shamas, Mamish together, the deepest, deepest way. 
And that's where you know he comes in. Because then you know him out from everything to last forever. So anyway, now I need a mum shake about piece of paper. Well, actually, what father is here, it's been like sugar. What's, what's he doing? Oh, okay. You know that my Zayda's name is Dr. Frank Fisher. And he was the cousin of the Mishlaya. Yes. Yeah. You know, he moved from Bishwitzer to Germany. And he was so afraid. He was six foot four. It's a yeet. And he was so afraid that maybe when he walks on the street, the goyim will not know that he is a yid. When how could they not know? He had a long beard, long face. So he wore his time and all week long. I have to tell you one more thing also, it's the cutest thing in the world, if you with your holy father, Prime Fischl. Um, never, they wanted to make a new text for yid. So he went to the mayor of the city, and he says, you just don't have it. So the mayor said, hey, if you don't have it, where do you get money from to invite so many guests Friday night? So they made a new law that Jews are not permitted to have guests Friday night. And on Yom So Nebuch, the second night, Sukkah, is the police surrounded by Zayda Sukkah. Not by Zayda, Elta, 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 Zayda. It's already 100, 100, 150 years ago. So they surrounded the Sukkah, and there were 14 guests there. Nebuch saw and they arrested my Zayde and they put him in prison together with the 14 guests for 14 days. <laughs> for each guest one day. Sad enough, after my father passed away, somebody stole this whole file. It was a Zayde, a letter my Zayde, Elte Elte wrote to his father, who was still in Ishbitzer. He writes to him, I don't have to tell you, I was in my life. And I had a grab with him, I should lawyer. For the Heli Gerum de Vesiakim. But I want you to know the highest and most terror I had was with supporting Yidin in prison. Well, anyway, so I bless you every day you step in the star a little bit. And every day you step Shabbos. Like my daughter, yeah? Okay, I'll tell you what, this is the. Uh, uh, you have to come close because we need to play guitar while I'm feeling. Can you stand here because I don't want to have a life make it? Can you make it? Okay, good. I need a book. Okay. Listen, brother, if I make a mistake, you think that, yeah? Just have this much time. You have a Forget about the Muslim. You hold it, Okay. You're writing it crazy like this, you know? Okay, with the shim. Make it first. Please hold that. You know, the Vachendu says, Shalukha Ois me Meshemelika. The Yid has the right to ask God for a sign. And they don't know what to do sometimes. I can tell God, please give me a sign. And since we are living today in a time when all the Russian Jews are coming, let's share with you a fast story. A few years ago, many years ago, a young girl came from Russia. Her father's a real communist, but just came to Israel because he thought it's better business here. Nothing to do with Yishkai. And he told his daughter, I want you to know all the from Yidin are fake, there is no God. I'm just going to Israel because I can do some business. One way or the other, she met us for the Holy War Friday night. And later on, she told me the story. <coughs> she said she was so torn apart. There was a wizard guy in there. She didn't know. So one day she had to visit her aunt in her daughter's hospital. And suddenly, she, and she walked into the hospital at 3 o'clock. And um, 
she has this crazy idea. She says, Master of the world, I'll be sitting here till five. <coughs> a girl of 16. And she says, I want you, I want a red car to come and ask me if I want to ride to the city. Then I know your mom is listening. <laughs> <laughs> you know, if she would ask somebody straight, crazy, of course. But you and I know the truth. She must have caused a tornado in heaven. I don't remember. She said she was sitting there. Every car was black and nobody asked her. Five. She wanted to leave. She says, we bought you mess of the world. I'll never ask you again. Please. Don't let me live my life as that you. She wanted to sign. She's 10 after 5. A red limousine drove up and said to her, could I give you a ride to the city? Okay, now she is. Where's it all away? So I bless you, first of all, with seven I bless you whenever you need a sign from God. I should give it to you. But one more one, I'll tell you something very deep. Sometimes between husband and wife, sometimes you really want to know, does the other one love me? Does he really, really love me? Does he really, 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 really love me? And you're thinking to yourself, I'll make myself a sign, right? I bless you. Whenever you ask God that the other one should give you a sign, same time, it should always happen. I had a muzzle type. Muzzle type, everybody knows, muzzle comes from the word noise on with the one and should be flowing from above. Right? You know something? You remember the story that he needed money for Shabbos and he found gold in the toilet? He says, God, no. I'm not picking it up. If you want to give me money for Shabbos, Give it to me, Shabbos Day. Remember the story? It's a long story, and then you know, Over Mazel Tov, you know. Whenever you need something, why should you please give it to me from above? Don't give it to me from a garbage bag. Don't give it to me from one. When I bless you, whatever God gives you, Shabbos Day. With the one should mamish panosa and love and, and everything should come from above. Mm-hmm. Then it comes the most issue of the time. Simple remembers it. What's the issue? What's the type? <coughs> Until you find your soulmate, you're really angry at God. And yet, I think everything is wrong with the world. Simple just reminded me. And when you find your soulmate, suddenly everything is good. What's the issue? What's the type? You know, it's always clear to me when people walk around angry, the problem is they don't really love their wife, or they don't really love their husband. Because if there's one person you really love, Everything is good. Remember we're learning Shabbos Chazon? What's God showing you? The holy temple was destroyed because we hated each other. That means there was not one person in the world I really loved. The Shabbos Chazon, God is showing me the one person I really love, right? So the same week is coming Shabbos Chazon, right? So I saw already, I saw this man or this woman in my dreams. So I go up to him and say, hey, God showed me to you Shabbos Chazon. So, what's what's the Motsi Isha Motsi Taif? What's Kigan Rotu? That portion I have to write 100%. Okay, so what's the Motsi Isha Motsi Taif? What's Kigan Rotu? What's the Motsi Yes. 
I just want to tell you, Hamagit Mareish is Aches, just to remember of Nachman's Torah. It takes a lot of cuts to begin, right? Especially after I began a thousand times. Mamish to begin, right? But it takes even more guts to do it till the end, right? But Nachman says, when I begin a Masechta, I'm connected to Barashat Bola King. When I finish a Masechta, I'm connected to Mashiach. So you see, in a very sweet way, the Tnoim is the beginning, right? But it's also Mamash Prinus Mashiach, right? Mamash Yemet and your Mamash going through it, right? So it's Mamash on the level of Achis, right? So Hamagid Mareshis Achis, the one who gave you strength to begin and also gave you strength, Mamash to do it. It takes a lot of guys. You know, a lot of people meet each other as though they're connected to Bereshis. But Mashiach, they don't test, right? They don't test. So I'm so proud of all of you. You see what it is. Barifke and Yitzchak, when Eliezer came to get Rivke, no one didn't mind that Yitzchak is a good shidduch, but finishing now, that he didn't want. He let to be a little bit, let's wait a little bit, you know, what's the hurry? No, we'll hang around a little bit. Uh, no. Mamish has to be right today, right? So I'm so proud of both of you. Proud of, I'm proud of God that he mamish. <laughs> you did it, right? <laughs> Mashiach got together. Okay, here. First of all, the holy person. Morena. No, no, it then comes later. First, we'll name the holy person. Then gets paid to Now it's illegal. We want it right. Uh, Frank Fischl Mayer. Frank Fischl Mayer. Your holy wife. What's your name? Hi, Frema. Wow, those names. Come <laughs> <laughs> back, here we go. I'm becoming a just by the name. Fast and slow. I'm the cutest brother in the world, right? Simcha. <laughs> Not so bad either after all those names, you know. Red and sick as Sholem, but... What's your name? I'm Dan. And it's low, the belt, yeah, unbelievable. Mm -hmm. How do you know? We share this. We share this beer first. We share this beer. Oh, 
You know the way it translates Kedas Moshe Yisrael? From how else, right? What's Kedas Moshe Yisrael? Kedas what else? So I translate that Moshe Yisrael means all the Hebrew would stand here in Moshe Rabbeinu, and I would ask them. Mainly, I'll simply ask them, think it's a good shiva for me? I would say, what a question. There's no other way. It means kedas according to the wish of Moshe and all the, all the union. What's about the uh, big Shabbos? It says, we should have been a safe and shabbat and shabbat and the brief of the Amadim. Oh, this is the most important part. a bit, you know, sometimes you run away from each other. It's bad. Sometimes you get angry, you run out from the house. <coughs> it's very bad. But it's not as bad as to stay in the house and ignore each other. It's the worst. The mamish right now, all the parents are here, the grandparents, the mamish swear to each other. It's so real. Don't run away from each other. Don't ignore each other. And the most important thing is, sometimes parents ignore children. Is there anything to drink? Because my throat is not much at the end. What is this water? Water doesn't help. Can I need something for my throat? Yeah, I know this too. You know what the parents have to do for you? Both of you. You have to do it for each other also. Imagine one day I'll see Leila sad. God forbid. You know what that means? Simcha doesn't treat her properly. Really. Oh, I see Simcha walking around sad. First Leila doesn't treat her properly. And I want you to know something very, very deep and mamish and blessing. Us parents are responsible for that. <coughs> Us parents are responsible for that. Because what the parents have to do is give children strength. Mamish give children strength to love each other so much. To love each other so much. So Mamish here, I know Mamish both and both parents are gewalt. Mamish and Bessie you should give there and central strength. You know what the most important thing is? I mean, this is obvious in the world, right? It's good. No, I'm right, it's special. You know, you can just, you know, you can say one word, one word, a little bit negative, or the husband or wife, the vows will get into the phone. The vows will get into so here the parents, Mamish, promise they will always give their children a bush of Shabbos and Yom. Mamish always tell them, ah, this is loud. Atel nem chalem shakim. Amen. See, my man. I'm doing your singing all night, you take the boss. I'm doing Mamish and Yom. Okay, I tell you what. The rest I'm not writing. I'm just writing. Mamish. No, there's no way we're going. So with this Kabbalah's Kenyan is a very deep thing. It takes a few minutes. You want to hold it for me? We need Mamish only slightly used handkerchief. Handkerchief. <laughs> Oh, very nice. Mm. Huh? Session? What? Oh, that's what this is. <laughs>
Okay, where's your father? Right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm Vishnu and your holy wife. I don't do it. Can you both come in? You know, the gates of heaven are open, but they're not always delivering. I want you to know God is like a supermarket. And in the supermarket, they have certain hours when you buy, when you deliver. Imagine you're coming to the supermarket the last minute, six o'clock, and say, no, not today, tomorrow. In the same way, right now, we're going right now, Mamish, what God is delivering to the parents is unbelievable, Mamish, infinite love and strength. Mamish, to help Chosen and Kala that this marriage is best friend. It's coming right now from heaven. And Mamish, um, I bless both of you. You should not only have Nachas and Simcha from all your children, you should Nachas from the world. Mamish, I bless you, Mamish. With, oh, you don't need to have the Adam yet, the Where's the two Adam? Where's the two holy Adam? Okay, fast. Kill. Now, you don't have to hold on, you really can see it. Okay. I want you to know what is in the Saudi. You know, a lot of times God gives me something. I have it, but it's not mine. I'll tell you something, you know? I'll tell you something. Sometimes Sunday, I buy the New York Times, right? And also having more moments here. The New York Times belongs to me, you know? But it's not mine. The moments here belongs to me. Ah, oh, it's a different kind of belonging. Right? I live in America, it's supposed to be in my country. Yeah, but it's not mine. Schneider. Looks like. A lot of times God gives us something, and I have it, yeah, it's yours. But it's not really yours. You know, Mr. Bolas Kenyan is Mamish, I should be in Kabul. I should receive it in the deepest way. And I want to bless you that all the nachas God wants to give you. And all the nachas you can cost the Chosnan Khan. Forever and ever, for children, grandchildren, and mamish. Hold up, mamish, all the way up to heaven. I don't want you to give you what this time you were wrong. Because I was dead serious. You can take this one that actually you can take it all seriously. Do me a favor. If you get it, I'll just do it one more time. I'll just do it one more time. Okay, Mamish. Should have shown Mamish a blessing also with everything. Right this minute, Mamish, the ship for Kaidish from heaven should reach you. Kabbalah's king and Mamish. For Leila, for Simcha, and for you, and for the children, for the family. Mamish, hold on, Mamish. I know how much tuna fish I need for shoulder shoes. I know how much chicken you need for Friday night. But what do you know how much you need? How much to be the best in the We don't know. Only Shlomo Melech, the Chocha Mikarot, and know how much you need. How many stones, how many gold, how much silver. So I bless you, whatever God wants you to have to build the best in the should kill it to you right now. Thank you.
что такое. How much do you need to be the best wife in the world? How much do you need to be the best mother in the world? Nobody knows, only God knows. So Mamush, you to hold the Mamushka book, can you guys be giving you right now? Mamush, the Maila Matamba does deeper than anything deeper than anything in the world. <coughs> you know why your form is better than in Kippur? Because in Kippur, I'm asking God, give me this, give me this. I'm putting on limits. Poor is ugly, I don't know. Just give me everything. She should give you everything. Mm-hmm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Can I give it to me as a present? Absolutely. Okay. You better bless the Moshe back and say anything. The Moshe bless him say, just for the handkerchief alone. He deserves everything. Okay, now, we need to give it to the Moshe. Oh, here's a pen. Well, unbelievable pen. <laughs> Would you show a coin also to sign? We have the lady come do it. Yeah. Not the, not the coin also. <coughs> come down and sign. Who's the lady? Food? The lady huh? Just okay. That's what's going on. Mm. Just look at the lady. Yeah. Okay, have a little look. You see, it's going on. But down is the lady. Come up. You could have two kinds and one lady. Okay, standing on the side. So why didn't you tell me right away? You know, sometimes, if, it, if I would ask who's the genius, you'd have to be quiet, because it's your doing. But you're a lady, it's a gift from God. You can say I'm a lady. Nothing to do with humility. <laughs> Okay, give me the guitar. Mm-hmm. Okay, now we need a lot of space. Two holy mothers. Okay, wait one second, one second, one second. Give it one second, one second. One second, one second. First of all, simple, give this to Leila. Leila, 100 years from now, I'll call you up. I would say, Lele, you still have that noem? I'd say, oh, it's hanging <laughs> on the wall. Share with you something awesome, and I just need one more second. You know, by the chuppah, the chosen breaks the glass. 
And by Noem, the two mothers get together, and break a plate, and the plate is, can fix them. So I just want to say you want to... Just I need the attention from... Here with the first Avera was simple, not that Adam ate the tree of knowledge. It's a long story. His wife asked him, please, I don't want to die alone. He says, okay, I'll do it also. It was the said, the first Avera was that he didn't stand up for his wife. I didn't tell God, it's all my fault. I didn't tell her strong enough. This is my wife did. See, you know, the first thing under the chuppah before you walk away, you say, if anything will break, I always say, I did. You lost. And then something else. Everything happened because Chava ate from the tree of knowledge, right? The mothers. You know what the two mothers say to Chos and Kala? If anything goes wrong with your marriage, don't blame each other. I want you to know it's always us mothers who are responsible for it. So they want you to look at each other and like, Mom, is she the best of the best of the best? And you know what? The tree of knowledge is always to blame somebody else. How was that the snake? He said, my God. You know, I'm going to cry when he walked into the Holy of Holies. didn't say anything. The most says, Shtike koi do dam yufi. A silent means you are responsible, right? You know, Moshe Rabbeinu was asking for forgiveness. I want to go and say to God, it's all my fault. All my fault. <coughs> so anyway, I want to bless the Holy Mothers. You should always cover for your children. Always cover for your children. Like, imagine Leila and Leila will say to you, Chai Chumar. Chai Chumar. I'll say to Chai Chumar, you know, what's the symptom? So she said, listen, it's not his fault. It's my fault, and he is now the best. I simply would say to Prolazer, Sukkot Shalom, and what's wrong with Leila? She said, Leila, there's nothing wrong with her, something wrong with me. But anyway, at this moment, while you're breaking the plate, I want to bless you that whatever you did not have a chance yet to fix in your children's neshamas, you should fix it right now. Because Mamish, everybody knows, the Nachman says, anything which has to do with Chasna, everything is Tikkun, everything is fixed. Mamish fixes it. So whatever, God forbid, our mothers left for us because we didn't fix yet the tree of knowledge, right now <coughs> to our holy mothers, I want you to fix it for your children. So your children should only, only, only live as a tree of life. <coughs> Wait, I start singing and then you break it like this. <laughs>
want us children. Take we your two children. Okay, Bubby, one piece. Break it. Break it. Break it. Break it. Bubby wants a piece. 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 Bubby wants a piece.
Stay healthy and well advised. Like, like, so. <laughs> you say so. <laughs> <laughs> You're a nice man. Never forgave my father for that thing. I call it on fire. So I can't believe it. That's why we did its name early. Because we wanted to come to town. Oh, anything new? <laughs> yeah, it's very hard to do.
Shalom, you might as well go in also. Where's the official? Prime official. Prime official man. I think it better than this one. Rabbi, you know Rabbi Prime official mayor is almost mish almost mishpacha. I don't I don't get you though. You have to come in closer. Okay. It's too free. Unbelievable. Throughout. Thank you very much. Did you get a partial sheet? Say bracha for the chassan and kala. What? Um, what? A bracha for the chassan and kala. How many movie cameras do you have? Baruch Atah Hashem. Okay. No, no, no. Say, I wish that for the uh, for the chassan and kala. Baruch Atah Hashem. Like in the middle of all of them, right when we get married. <laughs> I bench them, Leia and Simcha. That they should have children that grow up very smart like me. And okay. and and humble. And humble like and me. Also, and also, they should, they should, they should be very religious. They are very religious. <laughs> I don't know. Good. That's enough. Smart Thank you very much. Would you like to say a bracha for the uh, Hassan and Kala? Yes. <laughs> Thank you.